All right, today we got an interesting little balance job. Uh, hang loose and we'll get into it. All right, so this is uh, some kind of Suzuki V-twin. I don't, I don't really know what it is, but uh, it's got a fancy little Wiseco piston that's super lightweight. And that's the, that's the little precious connecting rod in it. Pretty neat. So we got to balance this thing, and man, I don't know why all of these Harleys are like this, and we just did a uh, Briggs and Stratton. It's the same way. They are just so far out of balance. It's crazy. Uh, this come over and look at this one. So and I and it was a little worse than this, and I've already turned a little bit, about thirty thousandths off of the counterweights because they just way too heavy. But it's uh. It's 32 grams on the left and 19 right now. It started out almost 50 and almost 30 over here. That's how, and, and what happens is, and, we'll, and I'll show you, I don't, I guess they just run these things through and they, uh, they just balance them as one. They don't balance them as a left and right. Um, the, the, why in, in a single plane, right? So this is a dual plane balance. They just balance it in a single plane. So that doesn't tell you, you know, if this side's off or this side's off. It just looks at the total amount of imbalance, and and you can see the way they drilled it. Even though it's it's offset, it's the exact same amount of material on both sides. And, and that Briggs crank that I just did, it was the exact same way. Uh, but they did line up. It had two exact holes, the same depth, same diameter on both counterweights. But the left side is worse than the right side. And you can see up here, over here, you can see it's got all of this up here, but it don't have it over here. So that's counteracting. And that's why this side is, is heavier than this side. So... Uh, I'm going to rip it back out of here and put it in the lathe and you can come over there and we're going to whittle some more off these counterweights so we don't have to, I mean, it, it luckily the out of balance is roughly centered, especially on this side. So if we can turn the bulk of it off without drilling a bunch of holes, you know, it looks better and it's, uh, you know, less, probably less windage like that. So, <clears throat> all right, so it's in the lathe and we need to take more off of this side and this side. So I'll probably do like 20 or 30 on this side, maybe 10 or 15 on this side. And then we'll just go back and check it. And, you know, we'll just do that back and forth till we get it really close. And then we, you know, might can drill it a little bit if we need to. getting better so the left side is about 10 grams better and the right side is about five grams worse so we'll have to stop on the right side and drill it and the left side I, 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 we might take a little more but I mean an inch ain't really that deep really Let me see, let me see what, why I'm showing two shallow holes. Obviously I got the right side. Next step. 
Why does it want me to drill two holes? Hmm. I'm going to turn a little bit more off the left side. Oh, that's better. It's getting better every time. We're down to 17 on the left and 20 on the right. So I'm gonna keep turning until we get so close that I feel like it's time to drill or grind. Sometimes I'll just grind the counterweight a little bit to it's, you know, sometimes the grinding is a little better than drilling it as far as oh come on Seventeen and twenty. Seventeen and twenty. <sighs> so that's ten and 18 man we get close so where are we out so now the, the it's a little off center on this side it ain't enough that we can't turn it some but the out of balance is like here and center is like here so we we i don't know 10 20 degrees off center so well, we still got a little bit we can turn before we got to start drilling. So 10 and 18. So we seven and thirteen. I mean, it's just we're just getting closer and closer. So we're gonna let's see where are we at. So we are still about the. So this one's this one's getting over here. So that's where we get in trouble. Like this one is getting over here heavy, and this one's getting over here heavy because 
they've already got these holes drilled, so they're splitting that difference. So we're taking it off all the way around, but unfortunately it's taking less here because there's nothing already there. So it's taking more on this side. That's why it's, it's showing us that as we take more off, it's moving that out of balance over here to where there's no holes drilled. But I still think we can take just, just a little bit more before we have to do any drilling. Seven and 13. So we have 3.8 and 8.7. Yeah, that ain't nothing. I'm gonna drill that. So we had a little boo-boo there. Uh, this is actually two days later. So the signal cable, which is just an RCA cable from the control box to the motor, I broke it. I broke it. So it sticks out like that, you know, and it kind of loops around. And so when I went to move the bed, it caught the handle and pulled on it and it snapped it off. And then it was, it was off up in there. We about never got it out. So I messed around and found um, a 90 degree cable that's braided on Amazon and they delivered it this morning and that, and that put us back in business. Um, so I spun it again. I had to work on it just a little bit more. We was down to like th almost three grams and it, you know, sometimes in dual plane, when you're working on one side, as you getting closer to balance, you'll see one side to the other, it kind of shifts away from each other. So we ended up, we had to put a hole there on this side and it's not very deep. And then we had to do that little peck right there. And then I just had to do just a little bit of contouring right there with a grinder just for that last like two grams. So it, it had it has shifted around over to here. So we just smoothed it up there without doing a bunch of drilling and craziness. But we got it down to, uh, if you wanna. So it's under a gram on both sides. So that's, you know, more than adequate for the application. So, uh, and we did, we did a, a two cylinder Briggs before this one, but unfortunately we didn't have time to film it. Um, but it had to get uh, two pieces of Mallory on one side and a piece of Mallory on the other side. So it was not fun at all, but luckily this one, and that's usually how it is. Cause this one, uh, you know, they're putting a, a little fancy lightweight piston in it. And so, most of this stuff, not always, but most of this stuff, for some reason, and I, it's beyond me, but all of this little stuff like this that we balance, uh, it's always got too much counterweight. And I don't know why they, they do it like that. So they, I, I don't know, I can't, I can't wrap my mind around it. And you wonder why, you know, all these lawn mowers and mini bikes and garden tillers shake your teeth out. And I don't understand why they can't. I mean, why, why can't they just balance it like it's supposed to be? It just, I don't know, it don't make sense to me. But anyway, uh, so, you know, it wasn't too bad, but it was nice to be able to, you know, to, that the counterweights were round and we could turn them some and not have to drill so many holes or, or, or all that. Cause, you know, it just don't look good and there's possibly some windage issues and that kind of junk. So I, I, I like to 
turn turn them if we can so this was a perfect example of that so anyway hopefully that was interesting uh uh, check out the website if you need anything. We really appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next one.